is to able to express the interaction of gradients in the sense of the superfields. Uh, this is um, the main point of the talk. Uh, first, uh, I will uh, talk about the quantum the massive spectrum of the class, uh, the gauge structure, structure of the spectrum of the class, uh, the positivity condition of the physical substrate, and then uh, the So, um, contrary to the main uh, law from the literature, I will not start from a classical uh, field uh, theory and then quantize it somehow. I think that it's uh, simple and uh, safer to uh, work directly with the space and uh, construct the quantum uh, theory. Uh, okay, so this is the introduction. Um, what I said before, I, I do not need a quantization pro procedure, I do not start from uh, classical uh, prejudice from classical model. Uh, the gauge structure will be constructed in analogy with the usual gauge uh, structure, only instead of fields I will use superfields. Uh, this usual engaged model, I have a Hilbert space with uh, uh, indefinite uh, scalar product. So I have uh, all uh, good properties of a scalar product except uh, positive definiteness. Uh, and this should hold only on the physical uh, Hilbert subspace because otherwise I do not have a sensible uh, quantum mechanical uh, interpretation. And uh, eventually if I want to construct this matrix uh, uh, using, the, again, uh, using the usual power of uh, prescription, I can do it uh, as an ordinary Okay, so uh, uh, now this is a more or less familiar expression of the vector multiplet, uh, where uh, uh, I have this uh, hermitivity condition, and now uh, uh, all these fields are quantum fields. So uh, C and D are scalar, I have a complex uh, and uh, hermitian vector field, and some uh, chi and lambda, some uh, Dirac field other fields. And these are some uh, Grassmann parameters. They live in a Hilbert space where I have this indefinite uh, 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 sesquilinear form. Uh, and I uh, suppose that all fields have a mass uh, for M which is strictly positive. So there is an obstacle uh, to consider the zero mass. At least I do not succeed the circumventing. And the idea is that uh, uh, I can decompose B uh, in transverse chiral and anti chiral components in such a way, and you see that the projector has a mass to the denominator. So uh, if mass is zero, I don't know how to do this, and uh, this my construction will break down. Now, to, to uh, construct the quantum model, I have to give the two point uh, function. So if you know uh, axiomatic field theory, to, to construct the quantum uh, field, you have to give the white man function, and if you have a free field, it's sufficient to give the two point function. And this uh, follows more or less from the causal form later. Uh, one can uh, uh, write the most general form of this uh, quantum commutator uh, using uh, um, some uh, general properties uh, and uh, it can uh, easily find out that it is determined by four arbitrary parameters. Okay, so one can uh, give the most general uh, uh, expression for this and it's not unique, it's not uh, like for the scalar field where essentially you have uh, a power in your distribution. Okay, now, uh, the, how, uh, if you want to build a gauge structure, you have uh, to add some uh, ghost and uh, uh, anti-ghost superfields. And be because I have a positive mass, I need also a bosonic ghost, like in usual, uh, 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 like in usual uh, gauge theory. Uh, now these fields are, in fact, superfields. And uh, I restrict them by the condition of chirality and also by the condition to have the same mass uh, as the uh, vector superfield. Now, uh, the gauge charge is determined uh, uh, uniquely by this relation. Now, this is more or less familiar. So, if, if you look in the books on uh, Susi, uh, the variation of V should be something like this, or maybe if the sign is plus if you have another convention. Yeah? Uh, these uh, are less familiar, but you still can find them in the literature. Uh, at least these two terms, if you look, for instance, in Grisaro, uh, Roche, and Siegel, uh, the variation of the anti -dose. And uh, the consideration of this uh, bosonic uh, uh, ghost, uh, I think it's uh, essentially new, so I did not saw it in the literature. Uh, okay, so if you define in this way the gauge charge, uh, you can 
prove that it squares to zero. So it's, uh, you can hope that as in usual uh, gauge uh, models, uh, this uh, cohomology object, which is well defined, will be the physical space. Okay, so uh, what I have to prove is uh, to, to see that uh, in this physical space the non-defined non scalar form is positively defined. And uh, how to do that? I, uh, do it, I do the analysis only in the one particle state. I take a general form in the one particle state. So I consider I apply in the vacuum linear combination on form V, U, U dagger, uh, tilde U, tilde U dagger, H and H dagger where these are some supersymmetric test function and the integration is uh, fully grass mass and uh, I, uh, I can uh, restrict somehow this because uh, of the chirality condition uh, imposed on this uh, uh, ghost field uh, <coughs> and also I can impose that all these uh, super test, uh, supersymmetric test function verify fine order equation, this is rather technical and then, then I impose that uh, Q applied to this is zero. So I, I have uh, everything very explicit. Uh, the expression of Q, I apply it, and I obtain uh, this restriction. So this line disappears, the third line disappears, and there, is, there are some restrictions on this one. So I, I'm left here only with the transversal part. The chiral and the anti-chiral part of this uh, test function disappears. Now uh, you can imagine that I have to get rid of the uh, co-boundaries. So uh, the, 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 the element in the uh, image of the supercharge. And it proves that then uh, these two lines, the second and the last, are co-boundaries. So they can be killed uh, in the factor uh, subspace. So this, you simply have to uh, take the most general expression of, an, uh, of, uh, of here. So you take an element of both number minus one, and uh, you uh, want to have, uh, you apply it with Q and you apply, uh, obtain something like this. So uh, essentially uh, any function from the kernel of the supercharge uh, is up to a co-boundary of this form where this uh, is, should be here P1 and P2, where this test function uh, should be uh, only transversal. So essentially the physical degrees of freedom of the vector superfield and the one particle uh, field express are the only the transversal one. And if you look at the form of B, then you are left with a, a vector field and uh, an, uh, a scalar and an, uh, a Dirac schema. So I did not write down this explicitly. So uh, this is written here. And this is, in my, to my mind, the uh, true the mathematical uh, uh, form of the quantum uh, uh, mineral gauge. This is what the people should understand. Uh, usually this is uh, this things is done in that book, the different books differently. So one starts at the classical field theory, and uh, for this classical field theory, one uh, keeps only this line, the second line, and using the, this freedom, one eliminates a lot of degrees of freedom from uh, from V. So from V, you are left only with uh, uh, this piece, uh, this piece, and uh, the lambda and you forget about all the other degrees of freedom and quantize only these three, three, three fields. And uh, you lose completely uh, super fields in the, in the final uh, um, decay. Okay, now uh, uh, I impose the condition of positivity of this uh, linear form only on the physical Hilbert space, on this, and uh, I uh, obtain that the usual uh, causal commutator appearing in the literature uh, is good. It uh, verifies uh, uh, this, uh, this condition. So I have a bona fide Hilbert space where the scalar product is strictly positively defined and I can do quantum mechanics. Okay, uh, now uh, the final step is to construct a uh, uh, massive uh, uh, supersymmetric uh, gauge invariant coupling. Okay, uh, let me. Okay, so uh, the point is to obtain uh, an expression uh, uh, of this type, a big uh, monomial, but containing all, uh, expressed only in terms of superfields, such that the ordinary interaction Lagrangian uh, uh, follows from uh, integrating out the Asman variables. So this, this is a uh, requirement which I uh, impose for uh, aesthetic reasons. So I, have, I want to have a fully supersymmetric theory. I do not want to abandon superfields. And now uh, the gauge uh, invariance condition will be that uh, uh, this expression uh, should factorize to the physical Hilbert space. 
if I impose that this commutes with the supercharge, it will be good, but it's too strong. You do not have a solution. So you have to relax a little bit. You have to impose that the commutation of uh, the supercharge the charge of the, uh, this super interaction. It's a super derivative. In that case, if you integrate, uh, this uh, disappears, yeah? at least in the adiabatic limit. So the integrated expression is a good uh, object on the physical field aspects. And uh, now the problem is to have a, a solution of this identity. Uh, for that, you have to make an ansatz. The ansatz was on the preceding uh, uh, slide. So I take an ansatz like that. The first line is uh, more, uh, familiar, so it appears in the literature. Uh, this one, uh, okay, if you look in the bizarre book, again, uh, we can find it. Uh, but it's not so familiar. You, uh, there are many books where you, you do not find it. And this coupling to the uh, boson, uh, uh, the field, uh, I think. Uh, and uh, these are some constants which can be restricted somehow. And uh, I can do that one can restrict the, 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 the by this two symmetric condition. Okay. And then uh, I impose uh, this, uh, this condition, this super symmetric gauge invariant condition. And uh, there is another point. Uh, in, uh, for uh, the Lagrangian in, in the Mikowski space after integration, I have a powerful uh, tool, namely uh, a power counting. So uh, uh, this should have a canonical di dimension, but not great, greater than, than 4, because otherwise I do not have a, a normalized theory. And this, uh, in, a, in essence, gives uh, one of the um, terms of the ansatz. Sorry, oh. the, <coughs> the same cohomology class that you had before? No, no, no. This is an uh, arbitrary deep polynomial. The two together, right? This one? Yes. Yeah. This is a repetition. So this is, uh, for me, an arbitrary polynomial in, in, in the superfields uh, with weak dots. And I want that the interactional Lagrangian can be obtained after integrating out the uh, Grassmann variables. So this is a repetition. Uh, but just this in the bottom mean that the cosecond is the cosecond? No, no, no. Uh, you mean this? Yeah. No, this is a gauge invariance. So you want that this expression uh, factorize to the physical field space. So the, uh, the stronger condition will be that the t commutes with q. The t commutes of q obviously induces an operator on in the kernel of q divided by image of q because uh, it uh, factorizes to this. But it's too strong, so you get uh, no solution. So you have to relax somehow. You have to put here not a divergence like in ordinary gauge theory, but a super divergence. So then, if you take the integration, uh, the integrated expression will factorize. So this is all I want. So uh, th th this is the identity we have to exploit. And if I use this con uh, condition, uh, then uh, all the other coefficients are fixed. Yeah. So uh, they are fixed in terms of a completely anti-symmetric structure master. Uh, and you have a lot of masses here, so this is, I, I have to work, I, I have to suppose, uh, suppose that all the masses are positive. So maybe I was a little bit uh, careless. Uh, I suppose that I have uh, uh, a list of uh, uh, many uh, superfields. So um, on the, uh, uh, when I started the discussion, I started with one uh, vector superfield. Now I, have, I, I suppose that I have, say, uh, um, n, uh, vector superfields indexed by the, this index uh, region, yeah? Okay, so I can uh, obtain a solution. Now, uh, there is a drawback. I do not know if this is the more, uh, most general solution of this relation. And uh, this is a lot of complicated combinatorial uh, formula. So if you want to obtain the most general solution, you have to put here the most general answers for this and for this. And there are hundreds of uh, possibilities. Uh, the point is that uh, in uh, supersymmetric theory, power counting is not uh, so powerful as in ordinary Minkowski space. So uh, in ordinary Minkowski space, power counting is a very uh, well-defined mathematical uh, uh, property, namely the degree of the singularity of some distribution. When you have also Grassmann variables, this is uh, somehow mixed up with the Grassmann integration, which kills uh, some terms. And uh, at least to my mind, uh, I do not have a very powerful uh, power counting 
machinery in, uh, in, uh, in super space. So for this, for me, uh, to solve this, uh, one should uh, put an arbitrary methods and uh, prove that a lot of coefficients are here. Okay, so I have only the conclusions. Yeah? Uh, so you did that? Sorry? You did that? No, 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 not that. Uh, so uh, uh, one should do that. Okay, so uh, uh, I suspect that uh, there is some unicity. So the expression I, I have wrote, if you really use uh, two months and uh, uh, use those uh, 400 coefficients uh, uh, and match them from the gauge of finite condition, you will prove that uh, this is essentially the only one condition, which is remarkable. Because people, I all power is very excited when they have unicity expression for the interaction Lagrangians. Yeah? And th there is a difference with respect to what you find in the literature for the uh, standard, uh, minimal extension of the uh, superspecting model, where I, I told you they, they get rid of the uh, unphysical degrees of freedom already the classical level. So for this, uh, they, uh, for, for every uh, vector field, they need only uh, one, dose, one, one, one anti dose eventually uh, a boson dose if the vector field is massive. Uh, but here, if you want to, to have uh, the ghost and anti-ghost in a multiplet and the supersymmetric multiplet, it does not work in, in this way. You, uh, you will have a, a doubling of the number of ghosts. So there is some, uh, in the ghost sector, there is a difference with respect to the usual uh, minimal supersymmetric extension of the standard model, and you can find it in the recent paper of the Mufoli, the Sipo, the Kraus, and, uh, and others. Uh, okay, so uh, uh, I can always it's uh, not so easy uh, always uh, if you want to work with <coughs> fields to put uh, uh, fermi coupling, but it can be done. So I uh, do not have, have time to, to do that. You have to believe me that uh, you, you, using some uh, Vestumino uh, multiplets, uh, you can uh, obtain uh, the, the fermi coupling. Okay. If you do that, uh, if you introduce the fermi coupling, the list of uh, arbitrary coefficients is. Unspecified constant in the uh, commutation uh, rules for V in the ghost fields. So uh, uh, I told you that in V, uh, the, uh, we have a priori for uh, uh, real constants. And they are somehow restricted by the uh, uh, condition of positivity of the scalar product, but not completely. So there is some freedom here, and there is some freedom <coughs> in the commutation canonical uh, uh, commutator for the total. So this is not clear uh, yet to us how to fix this arbitrariness from physical reasons. <coughs> and uh, also uh, uh, we have to understand better power counting in a supersymmetric con con uh, context to go to the second order because uh, otherwise uh, it becomes uh, unmanageable. There are too many possibilities for the counter terms. Yeah? And also you, you respect to have an, uh, a Higgs superfield in the second order. Uh, you know that uh, in uh, ordinary gauge theory, uh, in first order you do not need the uh, Higgs field, but you go to the second order without the Higgs, the Higgs field, the gauge invariance is broken, so you need an, uh, an uh, uh, this is why uh, you need a Higgs uh, field. And here you expect to, 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 uh, to have a Higgs uh, uh, field. Okay, so I'm finished. So these are the references. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Any other remarks, questions? 